So let's try one more example of a series problem. Um, we're given this summation of from n equals 2 to infinity of 3 to the n over 4 to the 3n plus 2. And again, I want to try to investigate this by writing out a few terms and seeing what happens. So if we plug in n equals 2, we get 3 squared over 4 to the 3 times 2 plus 2. So that's 4 to the 8. Now n equals 3 gives us 3 cubed over 4 to the 3 times 3 plus 2. So that's 4 to the 11th plus 3 to the 4th over 4 to the 3 to the 3n plus 2, where n equals 4, so 4 to the 14th. And what you might notice here is that each one of these terms is being, is a common ratio multiplied by the previous term. Because this second term is equal to the first term times 3 divided by 4 cubed. And to get from the second term to the third term, we multiplied by 3 divided by 4 cubed. And so each one of these terms, you get it by multiplying the previous term by 3 divided by 4 cubed. And so what we have here is a geometric series. And our common ratio is r is 3 divided by 4 cubed, which is certainly less than 1. The reason I bring that up is because we want to check whether a geometric series converges. You have to check whether the absolute value of r is less than 1. And certainly 3 divided by 4 cubed is less than 1. So it converges. And we have a formula for what a geometric series converges to. And remember that I said the easy way to remember that formula is the first term divided by 1 minus the common ratio. So that's the sum of a geometric series. And I think that's easier and more reliable than any numerical formula you can get. So here, our first term is 3 squared over 4 to the 8th. The common ratio is 3 over 4 cubed. So that's a little bit messy. We could clean it up a bit by multiplying top and bottom by 4 cubed. And that'll give us 3 squared over 4 to the 5th um, on 4 cubed minus 3 in the denominator. That's 9 over 4 to the 5th divided by 64 minus 3. And so that, in turn, becomes 9 divided by 61 times 4 to the fifth. So again, the principle of dealing with this series is to write out the first few terms, recognize that it's a geometric series, recognize that each term is, a, is the previous term multiplied by a common ratio, identify the common ratio, see if it's less than 1, and if it is, you can say right away that the series converges, and then you can invoke this formula, first term divided by 1 minus common ratio, do a little bit of simplification, and find the sum of the series. This has been Will Murray for Educator.com.